Hi and welcome back to RH2 Racing. Today we're going to be talking about exhausts. This is the exhaust that came on good old Project Miata here. And while it was okay, it was just a little quiet. Wanted something a little bit more aggressive. Something that, you know, would sound like a tuner, sound like something that I'm actually working on. And also, this exhaust, let me see if I can kind of get it to do it here. Had something rattling around in it. it sounded like marbles, I don't know what it was. But every time you'd rev it up, it would just rattle itself to death. And it sounded like crap. Now, being the cheapskate that I am, I decided to go to the auto parts store and pick up a muffler. Now, this one here was a multi-chamber muffler. Um, I was figuring, hey, if it's, you know, multi-chamber, it probably will calm down some of the uh, rasp on this thing and make it sound good. Well, in the low RPM range, it actually doesn't sound all that bad, as you'll see here in a minute. But uh, as soon as you get up over three grand, man, I tell you what, this thing is Rice City. We put it on there. I was going to put a nice little tip on there and make it look good. But uh, it just wasn't to be. We'll take this off and show you what it looks like out of the car here in a little bit. Um, but also my the pipe that connects up to the front here is broken as well so that's also not good for uh, for good exhaust flow so it has to be changed anyways so we ended up getting something else which I'll show you in a moment but first this is what this muffler setup sounds like right now So, needless to say, not a good sound. So, what we are planning on doing right now is what we should have done in the first place. Just going to install a really nice exhaust system. So, let's go ahead and start unboxing that. So what you're looking at is a twin tip cobalt exhaust from Moss Miata. That should sound really good. So today that's what we're going to be installing on Project Miata. Here's that muffler that we used. Definitely not good for this application, that's for sure. Don't mind the crappy welds. It didn't leak at the welds. That wasn't the issue. It was just too raspy, too nasty, just not good for the situation. Alright, so this is where we're at right now. We've cut all the pipe off, the old pipe here. You can see this is where the uh, O2 sensor was. This is where the uh, hanger was. This is the new hanger, so we're about at the same length here. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually cut this because somebody put a quote unquote cat delete. They just put a pipe under there. You talk about bad welds, these are not my welds. But uh, they put just a, a length of pipe there. 
So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut, cut off this flange right at the end here and do a slip fit, which is not something that I really want to do. But I was talking to a muffler shop and they said that's going to be the easiest way to get me, or easiest way to get me going today because I need to get this done now. Um, but other than that, it's going to be okay. And I'm going to be taking this thing off again anyways when we do the turbo kit. We're going to be figuring out a different uh, solution for this, probably going V-bands or something like that anyway. So for right now, this is the way it's going to be. But you see this, this is just ugly, 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 and ugly. And then we had it back here to, this was all just, just ratty. And this is all the new, the new stuff that's going to be good. So next step, like I said, is going to be to cut this. It's going to hurt my feelings to cut it, but we'll get it going. It won't leak. It'll be fine. Everything will be good. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we've got this adapter here that's going to get welded onto here. Got our O2 sensor, got our hanger, got our flange. After we put this on, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, weld this up and everything should be good. It wasn't ideal. I didn't want to get rid of that flange, but you got to do what you got to do. Well, she ain't pretty, but I did put light all around here and looked up here. Not one little pinhole in this. I may not have the prettiest welds, but they work. And that's really all that matters. So now this can be put on the other part and we can start doing the install. Hey. Too bad. 